Hi, today we've got a Raspberry Pi Zero that runs a bare metal program and it captures frames of the OV7670 cam that is connected uh, through the 40 pin header. And uh, inside the case, I've got a, a UART to USB converter that is connected uh, to the Raspberry Pi UART pins right here and to the USB that is used for the power supply. So through this USB, I'm sending frames to the computer and uh, I'm displaying them in my own program, something like this. So let's take a picture of this board. So the AVR, okay, and let's take a look. Yeah, so we got the picture here. Okay, so let me show you how it works. Okay, so we are in our trusty microchip studio 7. Uh, here I got a project uh, for the Raspberry Pi Zero as a bare metal and uh, in order to build it you have to uh, have the MSYS2 installed so it will be in the link in the description uh, the project is based on the David Walsh examples for the Raspberry Pi Zero and now let's take a look what we got here for the camera so um, this is the pinout how to connect it and uh, we got the setup for the pins, so the inputs, outputs, and uh, the clock generation on the pin 5, so the main clock. Next on we got the setup for the registers, which is right here. Uh, so this setup the camera for the resolution of 640 by uh, 480. So this is the exact uh, size of the window and uh, in the main function uh, we set up uh, everything and uh, if we receive a tree in ASCII uh, we set up the flag to tree and uh, below we have a check if we got the flag to three, uh, we invoke this function and this function is responsible for receiving the frame from the camera. So right here, uh, we check the vertical synchronization and uh, next on we check the pixel clock and read the pixel intensity from the uh, Y, U, uh, W and uh, right here I got a line commented because the uh, GPIO in the Raspberry Pi Zero is kind of slow and uh, I have to accommodate for this and uh, just only read the pixel intensity a bit earlier and it works fine by this speed that I got. Uh, if the speed would be a little bit lower, then uh, you would have to uncomment this line right here. Okay, now we have to calculate the values because uh, if we take a look at the pins that are here connected, they are a bit not in line. So we have to calculate the correct uh, value after this. We are ready to send the frame. So first of all, the command uh, that we are sending the frame. So after the computer receives this string, uh, it knows that it has to save the frame. So it will be a correct frame. Okay. So this is pretty much it. This is a section that is commented. Uh, it is possible to use it as a, a terminal ASCII camera by uncommenting this. 
Uh, but this is pretty much it for the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now let's take a look at the application right here that we get. So uh, this is uh, the code blocks and this is a application that uses uh, Win32 uh, API and also the P threads. So the most important uh, things here is a uh, function that uh, reads the frames from the USB to UART converter and it is being uh, invoked as a P thread. And uh, next on we've got a default function to set up a window. So this window, but a blank one. Uh, so what I got added here is a icon right here. And uh, in order to get the icon here, mm -hmm. there is a resource file and it is referencing this icon here. Next on, we've got the actual function that creates this window. And we have to set up the correct uh, size of the window. So this matches the frame from the camera. Next on, we have the window here created. And uh, using this function, I create a blank bitmap with this size. So it will hold up the photo frames. Next on, I have to scan the COM ports for the uh, available port from 0 to 9. And the last port that is open, uh, it will be selected as the Raspberry Pi. So it is best to set up the COM port to number 9. Okay, next on, I start the communication with this uh, found port and set up a timer. So every one second mm -hmm. the timer will uh, try to read the frame and update the display. So as you can see the frame is being updated every one second and wait a minute so as we receive the frame the image is updated. And the window is non blocking because we use the P threads. Next on, this is the default for the interaction with the window. So whenever we want to uh, exit, or minimalize or for example drag the window okay so this function here is for handling the inputs to the window and also the timer okay so uh, the first thing here is how do we read the frame so after we start the connection to the com port so this is the baud rate, 1 million in volts and 8 bits. We start up the connection and if everything is okay, there will be a port open line displayed. Okay, so as soon as we got the port open, we can read, uh, but before we read, we have to send a command. So three in ASCII, just like so. And next on we read. So uh, the pixel values will be held up in the contain variable. And uh, we are checking for the start of the frame command. So zero A R C. And if, if we receive it, we set up the uh, address of the variable to zero and continue. So this will be skipped 
and we will start right here. After we receive the frame, so this many pixels, uh, we uh, finish the receiving. And the displaying is done right here. So uh, we have now to write to a different uh, variable that holds up the uh, bitmap, the frame pixels. So we've got blue, green, red, and this is a intensity. Okay, so right here we got a yellow uh, image. So if we would like to make it uh, green, so let's set up the red to something low, something like 10. Okay. Let's build it and let's run it. Okay, so we got the frame now green. And uh, next on to set up the actual uh, bitmap, we set it right here. So this is the structure that holds up the bitmap. And this is pretty much it. Uh, one thing to remember here is to always make sure that uh, the uh, DC, the device content, uh, is being uh, released. So there will be no increase in uh, RAM that can crash the application. So thanks for watching. Hope you find it useful in projects and see you in the next one.